How much do you think the average university endowment returned over the past 25 years? 10%, 12% annualized? No, 6.1% annualized according to the latest Nakubo study. Why did they perform so poorly, or at least not great? Well, it comes down to the returns of the stock market, which were not super high over the past 25 years. Let's take a look. For the 25 years ending June 28th, 2024, that's when the Nakubo study ended, the return of the U.S. stock market was just under 7%. Non-U.S. stocks returned 4.6%. Why were stock returns so low? Well, because starting valuations were so high 25 years ago in June 1999. Let's take a look at how expensive stocks were back then. In June 1999, the price to earnings ratio based on earnings over the previous decade, sometimes known as the Schiller PE, was 32 for the World XUS Stock Index. Remember, it returned less than 5% over the next 25 years because its valuation fell to less than 17. The US stock market had a price to earnings ratio of 43 back in June 1999 and then fell to only 30. Over the 25-year period, U.S. and non-U.S. stocks got cheaper. That brought down overall returns and brought down the returns for university endowments. What can we learn from this? Starting valuations matter. When valuations for stocks or other asset classes are high, subsequent returns are lower, even over multi-decade periods. So we need to be aware of what valuations are and adjust our expectations for returns accordingly.